the iPad version of Adobe's flagship Photoshop image editing software, after a tepid beginning, is taking shape with more features appearing nearly monthly. The company's promise of full Photoshop on the iPad, however, has yet to be fully realized. Adobe's approach of slowly doling out features seems like an attempt to address the fact that learning Photoshop on the desktop is cumbersome. The app's initial release in 2019 was met with a strong bout of disappointing press, stemming from its lack of many important features found in the desktop application. Since then, Adobe has followed through on much of its master plan to bring the iPad Photoshop app to feature parity with the main application. Layers, selections, masking, retouching, tone curves, and raw camera file support are all now part of the tablet app's repertoire. Some key aspects are still missing, however, including actions, art boards, effects, neural filters, pen tool, for vector paths, smart filters, slices. Heck, even shapes are still missing, like rectangles and ovals. Getting started with Photoshop for iPad. The Photoshop app requires iPad OS 14 or later and an iPad that can run it. That includes all iPad Pro models, iPad 5th generation or later, iPad mini 4th generation or later, and iPad Air 2 or later. It works with any Apple Pencil, but no third-party styluses. We tested Photoshop for iPad using an 11-inch iPad Pro, a 7th generation standard iPad, and a 2nd generation Apple Pencil. Home tools and interface. The tools themselves directly reflect those on the desktop, down to the corner triangle on the toolbox buttons to indicate additional tools. If you've had a chance to try Adobe Fresco, the interface is intentionally similar. The app opens to the home screen which presents you with a dashboard of options for getting started. We appreciate that Adobe makes it so easy for users to suggest new features on the upper right. Gestures and touch shortcuts, as in Fresco. An innovative touch shortcut button acts like a modifier key, option, all, command, which you can move wherever you like on the artboard. Pressing the touch shortcut button turns your brush into an eraser with the same properties as your brush, and sliding to the outer edge gives you the eyedropper tool. Any gestures include a two-finger tap to undo, or click the back arrow on the menu bar, three-finger tap to redo, and pinching to zoom. Cloud Documents and Creative Cloud Files Cloud documents are not the same as Creative Cloud Files. It's a little confusing. According to Adobe, a cloud document is the next generation of document files that are optimized for working on the go. Creative Cloud Files allow you to save, store, and sync any file type in your Creative Cloud iPad Photoshop for photographers. Photographers may even be happier with this tablet app than designers. The addition of raw camera file support is a biggie, and the app now sports many other tools photographers need, like dodge and burn, vibrance, and noise reduction, clarity, days, texture, and vignette are all there in the effects section on the camera raw and porter view. Beauty and the Beast, despite its beastly learning curve, requiring you to ditch your old keyboard and mousing habits, and its truncated though ever-growing feature set, Adobe Photoshop for iPad offers many delights. Among these are freedom to create wherever you are in a closest to your pixels that you just can't get on a desktop or laptop. We look forward to the app's future augmentation with an even richer feature set, but we're encouraged by what we've seen so far. We are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.